Wouldn't it be great? Yes, it would be great. But we have a lot of questions, don't we? The first question is, did we hear that correctly? That not only are we receiving a new publication, but we're also starting a new method of conducting Bible studies. The answer is yes. But why is that necessary? Well, to answer that question, let's think of a few things that have changed in recent years. For example, think about the New World Translation and the revision of the New World Translation. Was that revised because the reference Bible was no longer any good? No. We remember the explanation given that reading skills of people have changed. No longer do people enjoy reading and taking that slow journey to eventually get to a destination. But rather, this modern age, we find that people are wanting to get to the, to the destination very quickly. They want clear, simple explanations that give them the meaning quickly. But what if the governing body, when they were considering whether or not to revise the New World Translation, had said, but we can't do this because the brothers and sisters would have to learn a whole lot of new vocabulary and all their favorite scriptures they'd have to memorize again and they probably wouldn't be able to find those verses on the right page in the Bible. But the governing body didn't decide that, not to have the revision. But rather, we saw how Jehovah blessed the revision of the New World Translation. And haven't we been happy using this and getting the benefits from it? But not only have reading skills changed, but also learning skills. And that's shown by some of the adjustments that have been made to our midweek meeting. Now we see our midweek meeting is fast-moving, it's interesting, and it seems so much easier to learn things about the Bible. Recently, I was talking to a sister who has been in the truth for about 65 years, and she said concerning the midweek meeting, I have learned more about the Bible in the last few years than in the previous 60 years. And isn't that true? But what if the governing body, when they were considering this change, had said, well, we can't make that change because the older brothers and sisters won't be able to adapt to it. Aren't we happy that the change was made? Of course we are, because we can see the beautiful benefits that have come from that change. When we think about all these changes that have occurred, we can see that it fulfills what Jehovah promised. And if you turn with me, please, to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 60, and let's remind ourselves of what is said in the beginning of verse 17. Here Jehovah promises, Instead of the copper, I will bring in gold, and instead of the iron, I will bring in silver, instead of the wood, copper, and instead of the stones, iron. Doesn't this describe nicely the promise Jehovah has made to help us to keep improving the various things that we're doing with preaching the good news and also our, our spiritual feeding programs. Yes, things continue to improve. But let's also remember how verse 16 in the same chapter starts. It says, And you will actually drink the milk of nations. We probably remember that uh, the Watchtowers helped us to understand that this milk of the nations involves all the things that are being developed, including modern technology. And Jehovah's people, with Jehovah's blessing, have used many of these modern things to help us with teaching and preaching. Yes, as Brother Splain said very accurately, times change and people's needs change. And that's very true. As we've seen, reading skills have changed and learning skills have too. So for that reason, over the last few years, our Bible study tools have changed slightly. We've seen how they've become simpler, 
easier to use, and many of us are using videos along with these publications. But of course, sometimes it gets a little complicated because we're not quite sure what video to show when. How refreshing it was when we saw that the digital version of the Good News brochure had videos embedded in it. So you're able to tap on the video and have the right video at the right time when you're conducting a study. Well, this new publication takes all of this experience that we've gained from trying to enhance our Bible study tools, and now we have something that will be very easy to use. But what does the publication look like? And Brother Splain mentioned it had been field tested, so those who have already used it, what did they say about it? this new publication? And how does the governing body feel about this new publication? All those questions are answered in this video. Jehovah has always given us the right tool at the right time to teach others. And this new book is no exception. How is this book organized? Each lesson is divided into three parts. How do you use it to conduct a Bible study? You might encourage your student to read the first part of a lesson in advance and to note the questions in bold and the key scriptures. Begin each study by reading and discussing the first part together. Next, consider together the Dig Deeper section. Begin by reading the introductory statement, which explains what follows, and take note of the subheadings that outline the main points. Read the scriptures, watch the provided videos together, and then discuss how the scriptures and videos answer the related questions. Discuss the artwork with the student, then follow with the questions found in the Some People Say section. Then, read the summary and discuss the review questions. Your student can enter the date the lesson was completed. Each lesson provides a goal for the student, and the Explore section offers additional content that may be useful depending on your student's needs and interests. Yes, this tool is very different. Why was it designed this way? It's a lot like the teaching used in our theocratic schools. It is very interactive. On the one hand, the lessons are written in such a way to really make the student think about what he is learning. This tool has the ability to involve the Bible student. It shows them with video, and then they have references they can look at. But the way that it's designed involves them, and it really is going to give them a good foundation. On the other hand, the teacher can use the viewpoint questions to draw out how the student really feels about what he's learning from God's Word. This is the most thoroughly field-tested publication that we have ever produced. From writing the text to simplifying the text, polishing it, getting it ready, it has been produced so that it can be translated into many languages so as to help people everywhere. Yes, this tool is very different, but is it effective? Hundreds of publishers in almost 100 lands tested the lessons. What do they say about it? I love the new layout. It's current and it's intuitive, and the way the Bible truths are presented, it's very logical and easy to understand. I think it's gonna be a game changer. The Dig Deeper section is amazing. It ensures that the teaching comes directly from the Bible. Because this part of the study becomes a conversation, the students answer right from their hearts, which allows me to learn a lot more about how they think and feel. The new method really helps us to convince the mind and reach the heart. Most of all, it helps both the teacher and the student to focus on the scriptures rather than on the study aid. We never heard anybody say, the paragraph says, 
because when they did answer the question, they were expressing what they really believed. The lessons are both logical and concise. The method is highly interactive. The students not only respond in their own words, but are also able to come to the correct conclusions all by themselves. It helps me as the teacher to talk less, and it helps the student to express himself and to think. And the videos elicited comments, sometimes of even a personal nature, that probably never would have come out had it not been for the videos. The aim is to get to know Jehovah, to love Jehovah, to learn what His will is for us and to do that will, and also to draw close to His organization. I've been in full-time service for over 50 years. I conduct several Bible studies. These lessons cannot be compared with others. They are more effective and just what we need for our times. It equips them to explain to others what they have learned. And as a teacher, that fills me with so much joy that I am motivated to be zealous and find more new Bible studies. We are so excited about this new approach to teaching Bible truths. The main points stand out, the application is clear, and it's easy to remember. And everybody can benefit from it, from those with little or no education to those who are highly educated. Our students are going to love this new publication. And we will too, as this will make us better teachers of God's Word, so as to make more disciples before the end comes. And how do members of the governing body feel about this innovative approach? This book has the potential to draw many honest-hearted ones into Jehovah's organization, to serve alongside us in pure worship, and dedicate their lives to Jehovah. Compared to all the Bible study tools we've used in the past, this is gold. And that's what it's all about, helping that student build a close relationship with Jehovah, and unquestionably, this new publication, this marvelous gift from Jehovah, will help us accomplish this worthy goal. We recognize humbly that whatever tool we use, only Jehovah can make it grow. So we're praying that Jehovah will grant success to this new tool to build and make disciples of Christ. We are not just preachers. We are teachers. We are disciple makers. This new book gives us what we need to help others love Jehovah, follow Christ, get baptized, and enjoy life forever. What a fantastic new publication! I'm sure all of us are looking forward to using it. But you may be thinking, how big is it? How many pages are there? Well, there are 256 pages, and there are 60 lessons. Well, you may be thinking, will that be overwhelming to many people when we show them this new publication? Many of our Bible studies that we start do lesson one, two, and then by three, perhaps they stop studying. So if we're using a large publication, could it be that it would be a waste of a publication if someone isn't going to continue to study? Wouldn't it be great if we also had something else that would introduce this new study system? And that's exactly what we're ha happy to announce, the release of a new brochure entitled Enjoy Life Forever Introductory Bible Lessons. Now, this new brochure contains within it the first three lessons of the new publication. When you look at the back of this brochure, you'll notice that it's designed similarly to the design of our tracks. It has a question, is it possible to enjoy life forever? Would you say yes, no, maybe? The explanation that's given below, along with the scriptures, help us then to direct the attention to the first lesson in the brochure. And this first les lesson is entitled, How Can the Bible Help You? The second lesson is, 
the Bible gives hope. And the third lesson, can you trust the Bible? What a wonderful way to introduce this new publication. So once we've gone through the brochure, finished the three lessons, if someone shows that they really want to continue in their Bible study, then we introduce them to the larger publication and start at lesson number four. Well, that's so exciting, isn't it? It will be very easy to use this and also to use the electronic version, which has been developed the same time as the printed version. With the electronic version in JW Library, you'll be able to just tap the link and it will take you to the videos or to the verses or to the reference material. Isn't that exciting? I'm sure all of us are looking forward to being able to use this new brochure and the new publication to start Bible studies. But there's still one question left. Wouldn't it be great if we can use these publications to help other persons to become disciples, yes, and to enjoy life forever.